Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make the canoni shells. So let me give you ingredients. So for my ingredients, we're gonna need two cups of the all-purpose flour. You can always do half and half regular flour and uh, pastry flour. It's gonna be optional. We're gonna need three quarters of a cup of marsala wine. You can always substitute for a uh, dark rum if you don't find marsala, or you can just use water. We're gonna need a whole egg. You can always use the egg whites. So they, I, I'll give you the, the ingredients and the options because you know a lot of people they make it different ways. So you can substitute the stuff that I'm telling you. Uh, one tablespoon of uh, cinnamon, one tablespoon of sugar, pinch of salt, and then the zest of the orange, two tablespoons of butter. You can always use lard. It's going to be optional. And this is a very, very simple recipe. Everything is straightforward. You put the flour, the dry ingredients, and then you incorporate the egg and the liquid. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the flour. And I'm gonna explain my Spanish version, what I'm doing, because, you know, since it's very simple, I don't want it, you know, to lose any of the steps. So I'm gonna come back and show you next step. Like I say, you're gonna incorporate all your ingredients, all the dry. So cinnamon, sugar, salt, and also we're gonna put some of the zest. They usually use the uh, chitronelle uh, candy, dry candy, but I couldn't find it. So you're gonna use the uh, orange zest. It's just to get the flavor of the orange. So we're gonna mix this for about one minute and then we're gonna incorporate the wet ingredients the butter, the egg and the wine now we're gonna add the butter and we're gonna mix it into the butter you know it gets incorporated with the flour so now you're gonna add the egg and then you're gonna add the marsala and then you're gonna combine everything together so eggs and then we're gonna mix it right so after you have your dough already mixed i'm gonna add a little teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract this is just for flavor to enhance the flavor or in, and the aroma so now we're gonna mix it okay so now you can see the dough is not sticking to the hook, so now you can easily remove it from the bowl. So now we're gonna, you know, stretch it a little bit and make it fold it inside like this. Okay, fold it, and then we're gonna let it rest. Then I'm gonna come back and show you how to stretch your dough. So you're gonna cover it and let it rest. You can use it right away if you want, but this dough is ready to be used. You can let it rest, like I say. And then I'm gonna make another video in how to, you know, fry them and cut them. And uh, I got this cannoli set online. So if you can get this cannoli set or you can find, you know, the tubes for the cannoli, this one comes with a thousand of these tubes, okay? So these ones, or you can make them with a foil if you don't have the tubes. Because we're gonna need this one as a cutter. This is the, the measurement that we need for the cutter. Because it's a little, bit, a little bit bigger than the regular cutters that we have. So it's a size bigger than this one, two sizes bigger. So. It's gonna be the two sizes bigger than this one and this is size oh, it doesn't have the size at all so this is like a two inches round. so we're gonna need this one so i'm gonna show you in the next video how to uh, roll it cut it and fry it so that way you can you guys stay tuned for the next uh, video hopefully you guys like this video enjoy don't forget to subscribe comment and like follow us on all the platforms and thank you, enjoy.